Hey guys, Al here. This is the part 2 video of our beginner's tutorial on how to make a bonfire. In part 1, we made the 3D model of the bonfire in Blender, so if you haven't already, go check it out. In this part, we're gonna use Unity and make the fire particle system you're seeing here. If you look closely, you can also see an orange flickering light. I'll show you how to do this as well. This is going to be very interesting. So here we have the bonfire model from the last video. First, what we're gonna do is go to game object and create a particle system. Let's reduce the speed first, set it to zero. And we're gonna add some gravity modifier, a negative one. So go to random between two constant and put minus 0.1. Can change the shape. Make it a sphere, a smaller one. And we're gonna go, we're gonna scroll down, go to renderer, and we wanna change this sprite image. So, what we're gonna do is make a new material. We're gonna make it kind of uh, orange, like the color of your fire. And here we're gonna change the shader. And depending of your rendering pipeline, it's going to change what you choose here. But in the end, what we want is a particle unlit shader so that the fire particle are not influenced by the light. OK, let's go back to the particle system and add this material to the renderer material. All right, so we have the square we want, but this is still way too big. Let's go ahead and change the start size. We're going to make it way smaller. OK, now let's go and change the emission rate. I'm going to put 30 and 50. And uh, we're going to add some rotation. So first of all, go to start rotation and make it completely random between 0 and 360. Now the color is very uniform, so let's add some variation. Go to start color and random. And we're gonna choose two orange yellow variation. It's a little bit like you want. You can play around and choose what you prefer. All right, so now I want the particle to get smaller when they get towards the top. So we're gonna scroll down and choose size over lifetime. And we're going to change this curve. Let's make it go very big at the start and then slowly go back down. Double click to add keyframes. All right, so this is starting to look good. The fire is dense at the bottom and then it gets smaller and smaller. Now let's make it rotate during the lifetime. Rotation of a lifetime. Put the value you want here, you can tweak around. Okay, finally, we'll need to add the last touch, which is the color of a lifetime. So we want the color to be like that. The more up in the air a fire particle is, the darker it gets. So first we're gonna have, at the beginning, it's going to be white. Then we're gonna add some yellowish shade here. You don't have to be very precise. You're going to see the effects is going to work pretty well. Now here we're going to make it a little bit darker, more orangish, and there reddish, dark red. All right, that's, that's it for the color. At any time you can go ahead and tweak some various parameters like I thought this was way too big, so I changed the radius, move it a little bit. Well, that's not centered. By the way, the lifetime is way too big. Let's change that. All right, awesome. So now uh, let's go ahead and make the light for it. So go to game object, light and point light. We're going to place it uh, 
within the particle system and here we can reset the transform and in this scene I'm gonna place it a little bit higher there now choose your color I'm gonna make it orange again and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the light flicker so go ahead and add the light flicker script component that I linked in the description in here you can choose uh, four parameters the first one is if we want to move the light a little bit for more dynamic then we can choose the speed of the flickering and the range between the intensities of the light so I'm gonna choose two one three here again you can tweak and uh, choose whatever you prefer so the script is actually very simple there are two functions you need to remember the first one is the ping pong function from the math library thanks to this function we can easily pulse the scale of the light next if you want to move the light first of all we choose at regular interval different positions for the light and then with the lerp function we can smoothly change the position of the light so in my opinion it's very good to know that the ping pong and lerp functions exist these are very useful let's see what happens in game and so here we have some very nice subtle like dynamic i think this looks just awesome feel free to tweak some values and parameters to adjust the particle system as you like how about adding some black smoke as a second particle system? Go ahead and try things out. Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching along. I'm very new in making tutorials, so I'd be very happy to hear your feedback or what you would like to see next. Peace guys!